Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Way Slam reviewer, and I'm here to review Mayor Pete. And this is a new documentary coming your way from Amazon and from director Jesse Moss. And this focuses on Pete Buttigieg and his run for president in the 2020 primaries. And I know he's popped up a lot recently because, you know, he's in headlines because people want to make jokes because he took, uh, you know, paternity leave so he could learn how to breastfeed and stupid crap like that. But this man was a mayor of a town and ran for president as a mayor and didn't have any higher office. And that was pretty, like, that didn't happen much. Usually, like, you see senators and representatives or vice presidents. Then, on top of that, he's the first openly gay man to be running for president. And this documentary deals with his whole entire campaign process. And it focuses on a couple of different things. Obviously, it focuses on him as a human being and this significant, like, underdog underdog story of him trying to compete for the presidency. You spend a lot of time with him and his husband having some more uh, like personal moments and connecting with each other and different kinds of stuff like that. And this film, you know, focuses on his experiences through his campaign and the challenges that are there and the significance of him being the first gay man to be running for president, openly gay man running for president, and how that has influenced people, how that has given hope to people of underrepresented backgrounds, but also it doesn't shy away from the challenges he dealt with as mayor of his town. And there's a couple of like really intense scenes of him sitting up at a like a town council with a lot of black mothers crying out for something to be done about police shootings and stuff like that and his personality being more like dry and straightforward and maybe not seeming the most empathetic and there being challenges there and like it legitimately shows some of the reactions of like there's one particular man who had some choice words about some of the things that Buttigieg said and how they didn't really feel representative and felt like it was showing his privilege a lot. And I thought it was interesting that this documentary like showed some of those big cracks. And they did show a lot of the challenges he had really connecting with people and showing that he was an empathetic person who, who actually had emotions and could connect with people. And there is even like some times where it's like he made certain comments, brought certain things up and had conversations with his husband about like how that represented him as a gay man and different kinds of stuff like that. So th I thought that was interesting. It added layers to the story. And when it really comes down to it, this is a pretty straightforward documentary focusing on this man's campaign. So like narrative wise, it's pretty straightforward. And you know, it's chronological order. He's just going through the process up to the point where he obviously dropped out and didn't win the primary, it was Joe Biden who did, and then kind of leaving off of like, hey, he gets to be announced into the cabinet, and stuff like that, so kind of happy ending. And, you know, you have that kind of narrative, and a lot of this, though, more is dealing with some of the higher consequences and themes of the situation, and, you know, I think it was a pretty interesting documentary, tried to get to know this person as a human being, because, like, most of the time we just see politicians as caricatures. They're what news stations and talk shows and night shows kind of depict them as. Saturday Night Live depicts them as. And I thought this was an interesting documentary, even if it's not like, this isn't the most groundbreaking documentary. It's not the most artistically inclined documentary. But, you know, I thought it was an interesting time and, you know, Obviously, this documentary, like many documentaries focusing on politicians and stuff like that, r realistically are not going to be watched by the opposing side. And, you know, I think you could tell that already just by looking at the IMDb scores when, like, like I don't even know if it was like this came out. I guess these are all other screeners or, you know, 
they didn't actually see the film, but it didn't, like, dig super deep into things, but it brought up some interesting ideas and thoughts. So, maybe check it out when it pops up on Amazon. But those are my thoughts on Mayor Pete. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you, as always, for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.